Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Princess Creusa, the daughter of Priam and Hecuba and the wife of Aeneas. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so as to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Overall, in Greek mythology, Creusa was the daughter of Priam and Hecuba. She was the first wife of Aeneas and mother to Ascanius, also known as Iulus. Mythology Creusa's death at the will of the gods is dealt with briefly by Virgil in his Aeneid. As Troy is falling to the Greeks, Aeneas goes to his home to lead his father Anchises, Creusa and their son Ascanius out of the city and into the countryside. Anchises refuses to leave the house, prompting Aeneas to decide that he will stay in Troy so that he may die honorably in battle, rather than abandoning his father. Creusa grabs his feet and begs him to think of what would become of Ascanius, Anchises and herself if Aeneas were to be killed. As she does this, Ascanius catches fire with an unearthly flame. The flame is quickly doused with water. Anchises believes this to be an omen from Zeus, who confirms this omen by sending a shooting star. Anchises now agrees to flee Troy. The family leaves the home, Aeneas carrying his father and Ascanius holding his hand while Creosa is to follow some distance behind them. As they flee through the city, they reach the gates and begin to run, after noticing that the Greeks appear to be gaining on them. Creosa disappears, unable to keep up with them. After reaching Cera's temple outside of the city, Aeneas leaves Anchises and Ascanius there to go back in search of Creosa. As he searches the city in desperation, he meets the shade or ghost of Creosa, who tells him that it was her fate to remain in Troy. She predicts his journey to Hesperia, Italy and future marriage to another. She asks that Aeneas take care of the child and vanishes. Aeneas tries three times to hold her, each time failing to grasp his shade. This is the tale told by Virgil in the Aeneid, but this leaves a lot of questions of how Creusa came to die, who buried her and who allowed her to return to speak to Aeneas. Some writers therefore tell that Creusa was not killed in the sacking of Troy but was instead rescued by the goddess Aphrodite, Creosa's mother-in-law, and so it was not the ghost of Creosa that Aeneas spoke to, but a divine manifestation of some sort, arranged by Aphrodite. Pausanias relates that Rhea and Aphrodite rescued Creosa from being enslaved by the Greeks, on account of her being the wife of Aeneas, who was a son of Aphrodite. Finally, there are six more women that appear in Greek mythology with the name of Creosa, like Creosa, an Amazon spearwoman that took part in the battle of the Amazons against Theseus and his army, etc. But in this video we focused on the princess Creosa, the daughter of Priam and Hecuba. Let us finish with the following saying. A well-governed state is the best environment for growth. Democritus. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.